Hello. There we are. Everybody. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Tarkan. How are you? <laughs> Good. I'm wonderful. Hi, everybody. We have just had a little bit of a giggle behind the scenes. And yes, we did. We are now hopping on to be doing our serious stuff. Well, maybe not so serious. Tarkan is in Germany. I'm in London. We are together here. Hi, Tarkan. Hi, Agnes. <laughs> I'm going to try to get your name right now. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're both a bit... Um, in the name challenging area aren't we? yes a, a little people. bit well you your name uh, well agnes is how i always wanted to pronounce it but it's yeah. yes yeah. yeah yeah it is agnes but i don't know i just never liked it in english and yes sounds fancier it sounds nice it's a, sort of a <laughs> it it's got fancy. a it's got a bit of a fashion icon kind of thing to it, yeah. <laughs> The writer, kind of. uh, <laughs> that's right. Label. Actually, there is a label called um, Agnes T. I've seen it. Oh, really? It. Yeah, I thought, oh, wow. Look at little, that. Little fashion label. Yeah, that's right. Well, we, ha we have had a little bit of a chat and we, yes. you, said, you said something really interesting, with it, which I think you should say again. What are the top three things people really want? Oh, right, because we were talking about what motivates people. Yeah. Right, why people come to us and yeah. people like us. Uh, the top three things that motivate people are wealth, health, and love, right? Yep. And uh, interestingly enough, I was gonna actually talk about this with you because you were probably gonna ask me, how did you get on the topic of um, relationships yep. and exes back and manifesting exes? You know, um, I did a few videos in the beginning about different things. I think your emotional guidance system and money, and yeah, they got a few views, but it was the first video I talked about relationships and getting an ex back that got the most views. And I realized this is what people are really interested in. And it's almost yeah. to the point where if I talk about something else now in a, in a video, I don't get that many views. No. Eh, eh. I'll even lose a couple of subscribers, I noticed. You know? like, how dare you? <laughs> I don't care about money. You know? I'm not a performing monkey. I yes. can't just talk about this. I know, I know. Oh. And, and I do think it's good for us to talk about it, but I made a decision. I, I don't want to be just a relationship with a specific person or X channel. Right. Because I think when you are really interested in that topic and you're struggling with that, getting your head on other topics is what makes you more emotionally attractive in the relationship X or specific person area. Absolutely. Yes. And well, that's right because it's about obsession in the end. Right. Yeah. And if you, if you, I tell people this, if you put somebody else on your pedestal, it's your pedestal. Yeah. You're the center of your universe. You're the star in your life. Yeah. If you're putting somebody else up there, what, what's, what's going on there? You, you, first of all, they don't want that pressure on them. Nobody wants that pressure on them. Yeah to be put there on the pedestal of your life. They want to be on their own pedestal, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. um, think about, you know, I ask people, think about if the shoe were on the other foot, if they were that obsessed about you, yep. you know, thinking about, should I text them or blowing up their phone all the time and that kind of thing, how attractive would you find them, right? Yeah. Or that, that behavior, probably not very attractive. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of this is about making, I talk about attractiveness because we're talking about law of attraction. Yeah. And that's not physical attractiveness. That's energetic attractiveness, right? Mm. That's developing a kind of charisma that makes people want to be automatically around you. That makes them sort of, who's that? What's that girl about? What's that guy about? Right. Yeah. Uh, you kind of shine, you beam, you're enjoying your life, you're enjoying yourself. And that's really what gets people going, right? Yeah. Including your specific person. They're going to be interested in what's, what's happening with them, right? Look at that. Yeah. They're having the time of their life. It's the fun bus. They're on their own fun bus. Yeah. And uh, love is invitational. It's not mm. manipulative and it's not obsessive. It's saying my life is already amazing and awesome. You're invited to come along. I would love yeah. for you to come along on my ride, you know, and then I'll be on your ride too. But that's, yeah. that's the approach that we need with that. Yeah. yeah. And I think too, like in my relationship, we're together, but then yeah. we, you know, we have, when I'm in Sydney, obviously we're not together and, my partner, you know, works where he actually, you know, stays the night at his workplace and, and does, right. you know, like a 24 hour thing. So we often have times where we're apart and sure. that's what makes a relationship good because he comes back and it's like, hi, happy to see you. And, yeah. you know, then we catch up on stuff and we, we keep in contact throughout the day when we're not together. But there's this thing where I'm focused on what I'm doing and I'm fully absorbed in what I'm doing and I'm not having yeah. thoughts of him at that time. I'm living my life and doing what I love. Yes, absolutely. Well, you're, you're coexisting, you're living side by side. Yeah. So it's togetherness with freedom. Togetherness yes, with freedom. 
Yeah. That's something, and this is not something that's not my quote. There's another a relationship coach uh, who deals mostly with dating and men on yeah. YouTube. And he always says this. He says, if you love somebody, you have to love them in such a way that they feel free. They have to yes. feel free. But they can be themselves. They can grow and explore themselves. Right? Yeah, yeah. Also, because you mentioned it. See, now my brain is going because you're. Um, <laughs> yeah, go, go, 20 go. 20 things are going right in my head. <laughs> um, the other thing about it, I, I told somebody this recently, too. I, I had an issue, too. Well, not an issue, really. But I had a friend, and we had similar kind of concerns about our dating life some years ago. You know, we would date a girl for three months, and then it would sort of we'd sabotage it or something like that. Just at that moment when it got settled into that that sort of habituate, habituation kind of part, right? Yeah. Because uh, we like the adventure part of it. We like the feeling of aliveness, of the honeymoon period. So he looked mm. at me one day, he said, Tarkhan, you and I are both honeymoon chasers, aren't we? You know, we, <laughs> we like that sort of that, ooh, that three months of can't keep our hands off each other and constantly texting and calling and thinking about yeah. each other. But it, that's why you have to decide exactly what it is that you want. If you want a relationship with somebody, yeah. then then go to the point where it's, it feels normal. You take it almost for granted, right? You, mm. you think they're there. It's like how you interact with your family, with your siblings or your parents at home. It's, it's, it's a normal feeling. It's not going to be this. You're not going to text each other every day. You're not going to think about each other every day, right? So um, because I get people, you probably get this too. How do I get them to text me? And how do mm. I, that's what I want. I said, well, do you want yeah. them to obsess over you? Or mm. do you want to have a relationship with them? Mm. What is it you want? Because if you think you have to manifest every step of the process to get to the relationship, then you're biting off way more than you can chew. Yeah. Um, and you should stop doing that right now, right? <laughs> but if you like the back and forth and the, the little game, and that's okay. If mm. that's what you want, perfect. Yes, you can manifest text messages. You can manifest this kind of stuff. Yeah. But you have to be really clear about what it is you want exactly. Mm. Right? So, and most people aren't. So many people are not clear mm. about that. Mm. Right? You probably find the same the same for the issue. I do. And, yeah. you know, I was looking the other day that my most viewed YouTube is how to get a text message. <laughs> yes. And I, I, thought, ask, yeah. I just thought, you know, I understand that that's important, mm -hmm. but really you're not just after a text message. You're after. Precisely. Connection. Yes. And if you spend more time, watching the self love videos and practicing meditation and calming your emotional and mental self down yeah. and fulfilling the love from within and getting to the point where you can radiate it out rather than you're trying to scoop it and get it. Yes. You will get much further towards what you want. So, you know, spend less time watching the text message video and watch yeah. more of Louise Hay doing self-love or you talking about self-love or me or whoever. There's lots of people that talk about self-love. Absolutely. Yeah. Those are the YouTubes that will bring up that in you and therefore create, well, it's already created as we know, but bring it in yeah. towards you. That's where the real gem is, not the text message YouTube. That one's yes. okay, but don't spend your whole life watching that again and again and again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's instant gratification. Yeah. Uh, and that's what it is. People want instant relief and instant gratification. They want to yeah. know uh, that text message is going to tell them and put their mind at ease. Now they still love me. They still think about me. They're missing me. But yeah. here's the thing. That's like a drug. That's like an adrenaline push or whatever, yeah. a dopamine push. And you're going to want that again and again and again. So in the yeah. end, it's not you've made you've become addicted to them or the idea of them or the, the idea of getting these text messages because yeah. that high will last for maybe five minutes, ten minutes. Yeah. And then you're going, well, they well, I haven't heard from them in an hour or in a day or in a week. And I get that a lot. How do I stop thinking about them? I yeah. Say, Focus on you, yourself. Yeah. And you crash and burn mentally and emotionally when you're yes. not getting what you think you should be getting. But sure. If you ask yourself rather than saying, okay, I'm going to do this text message thing over and over, ask yourself, what is it in me that I need that? Yes, that's what, what is it is. It? What's why, missing? Why do I need that so badly? Mm. I've got to look at that I'm, I'm not satisfied. And it's this constant yeah. dissatisfaction in me that pushes love away, that pushes relationships away because people Absolutely. feel it and don't want to be around me. If I'm satisfied, if I feel loved and wanted, yeah. that's attractive. Well, that's the thing. And your happiness is not somebody else's responsibility. 
It's and likewise, their happiness is not your responsibility. Yeah. Can you imagine if the world was like that? Well, it is in a lot of ways. I think yeah. that's why we have so many issues in the world. Yeah. People are always looking to other people, pushing them, manipulating them in some way to make them happy. Oh, I, I got to get their money because there's not enough to go yeah. around. I got to get their love because there's not enough to go around. It's yeah. this lackful mindset that we have. I don't know yeah. what human beings started with that, but there's I this know. feeling that there's not enough of this or that to go around. Mm. And we're talking about energy, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, love is energy. How can there not be enough energy to go? Mm. <laughs> you know? It's, oh, they're, they're, uh, time people worry about time all the time yeah. right and how long is it going to take it's already been yes. a year and i'm going to run out of time i said well what have you been doing in that year you know yeah. how are you, not, are you if you're sitting around waiting for someone to show up for a year of course you're going to have a miserable time yeah you are wasting your time i mean you're not focusing on yourself you're not doing the things that make you happy yeah right that's uh, yeah. what is that going to be what are you really after it's a feeling every time isn't yep. it yep it's a state of being. I mean, anything that you desire. Abraham Hicks says this, and I always loved Abraham. Yeah. Um, anything you want, you want because of how you think you're going to feel when you have it. Mm. So get to that state. What is it you want? If you want security, and that's why you want a relationship, then look for security. Reach for feelings of security. You already have that going on in your life. Yeah. If it's adventure, if it's aliveness, if it's uh, being adored and loved, you already have love. And adoration in your life yeah you know look at your puppy pick up your puppy or your cat or your kid or your mom or dad or yep. whatever it is even the stranger smiling at you on the street or holding the door open for you or doing something nice for you letting you pass in your car that's a form of love right? mm. but people think that doesn't mean anything or it's uh, it's too tiny to yeah. you know to count but it does not count. enough it's not enough. no it's not, not enough. enough it's not the yeah. what, it's not them i want them i need them to yes love me, right? it's, yeah. i've been there i get me it. too I me too you know, More than i don't want to judge people for that i think everyone's at their level and their stage with this where, where they need to be right now yeah sometimes you can't hear it when somebody tells you hey just let go of that Right? Yeah. Yeah. You can't hear it when you're, when you're in the yeah. gridlock of it, you can't yeah. see, you can't see, but I think it's continually listening to Abraham Hicks or Neville yeah. or Wayne Dyer or Catherine Ponder or whoever that talks about it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And too. We will keep saying it. That's we, right. Like you say, we have been there and we understand the suffering that comes from it and the yes. anguish and the, but when you look back at yourself now, you go, wow. Yeah. I really was so obsessed with getting love from the outside. And that was the yeah. issue was that, yeah. that belief and that thought that that's how it works. But if you start to really, you know, come from, there's enough time, love and money mm -hmm. and yes. bring that into your affirmations and your belief systems. I, you know, I, there is enough time, there is enough love and you slow everything down you slow everything down and you can take baby steps with this. You know, yeah. don't try to jump to the top of the ladder right away. You know, yeah. I had somebody ask me yesterday and I did a video on this. How do I stop? How do I get to believing more and trusting yes. more when I have all this past stuff with them and all these hangups and everything that happened. And then, you know, the last line was something like, um, how do I get rid of, how do I uproot all this resistance? And I said, you know, resistance is what you want. It's important to have that because it's like a roadmap or a compass for you in your life. You don't understand where you are in relationship to where you want to be if you don't have that little bit of pushback from life. That's what mm. we. That's kind of why we come into this environment, I think, to have that yep. experience, right? That time lag and that you're like a you've, you've got the smorgasbord in front of you. And you're gonna, you know, you're gonna eat just one thing. No, you're gonna try out everything a little bit. Yeah. Right? I don't like that fish or I like this jello or whatever the hell it is. Right. Yeah. You know, you, that's what life is about. Experiment, take a little taste of everything. And then you, you formulate new preferences and new desires out of that. Right. That's how you expand and keep moving forward. You don't want to sit still. Exactly. Because even if you get your specific person or your ex back, there's still going to be something more you'll want. Yeah. Right? the relationship won't always be perfect or exactly mm -hmm. how you want it to be. Something that's may true. always seem like it's missing. So, you know, that's, mm. yeah. I mean, I had that experience. That's, yep. you know, I, I dated exactly the kind of girl I wanted at that time. I wrote down every detail about her <laughs> and then we were together and I thought this is so perfect, but then suddenly it didn't feel so perfect anymore. You know? And it wasn't yeah. her fault. 
Yeah. It wasn't something she did wrong. It was just that I had grown now. I had, yeah. Now I'd expanded, right? And I wanted something different. Yeah. And, and Abraham Hicks says this so well, the cracks start to appear. <laughs> the cracks start to appear every time, especially if you put your happiness on somebody else's shoulders. They're yeah. not capable of carrying that burden. Yeah. yeah. That's so true. <laughs> the patina. Uh, I, the what? <laughs> the patina. I like that. You know, you, you start getting the patina. It's like, the oh, the sheen has worn off. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's true. That's true. You know, I find in my relationship today, if something, you know, something happens and I'm, you know, just mm. about it, I just go, mm. okay, rather than going, why is he doing that? I go, well, hang on a minute. What right. have I been doing mentally and emotionally that that's in front of me? Yeah. You know, and it's, and things can pass so quickly because you just go, hang on, this was me. I was feeling, you know, just not happy or I was tired. And then I was looking at what, he, what's, why is he doing that or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you go, okay, hang on, you know, and that's when I practice the whole Pono Pono or that's when I go, yeah. this is the best relationship I've ever had. I love how we connect. I love how we understand each other. And then you yes. get back on the horse and then, you know, then you get yeah. that shift on the outside and you go, ah, nice. I changed it again. Lovely. And it can be, it can feel difficult, but it's practice. And the more you do it, it the easier it is. You just keep talking really to yourself, is. keep speaking to yourself. You yeah. Know? Exactly. It can be hard, especially because you're trying to undo, well, people try to undo that, all that old programming they have, that negativity yeah. and that negative self-talk. I tell people, don't try to undo that stuff. You know, if you have a new operating system for your computer, you don't uninstall the old one first. You just install the new one on top of it. It dominates. Yeah. Yes. So if you want to get rid of a bad habit or anything, you don't try to get rid of the habit. You just introduce a new, better habit. Yes. And keep practicing it until that dominates and becomes yeah. the primary uh, way that you operate. That's so important. I'm so glad you brought that up because you can't go back and fix problems. You got to no. you got to focus on the solutions, and then that yeah. problem plant dies if you stop watering it. So yeah, that's yeah. the jibber the jibber jabber industry. It's the it's I call that talk therapy. I think you know sometimes it's important for some people. I think you know when they've suffered certain traumas or things like that. But so many people go, they run to the therapist for years and years and. The, the, the notion is that if you just keep talking, let's just keep Ooh. digging down in there and <laughs> get our fingers dirty. Yeah. Nothing ever changes. You just get more unhappy. You're more That's focused true. on your unhappiness and the, well, what's going on there. You yeah. Know, you're not moving forward. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I have to agree with you. Having gone to therapy myself years ago yeah. when it was really fashionable, I, yeah, you go there and you just want to tell your problem and you go over it with emotion and Thank thought yes. and focus and then whoosh, yeah. another wave. Yeah, you're giving it airtime. Yeah. But maybe that's how they hang on to patients. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> keeps the business, keeps the business. I got a great comment on a video a while back. This woman said, uh, Tarkan, I love your video. This video was so amazing. I learned everything I needed to know. I feel bad because now I don't have to watch any of your other videos. You know, <laughs> I said, that's perfect. I think if I'm a good coach, I will coach myself right out of a job, right out yeah. of a bank. And I, yeah. <laughs> I want you to keep coming back to me. If yeah. you do that, I have to start wondering, what am I saying? You know, yeah. what am I doing? Am I really helping people? You know, yes. <laughs> yes. you should become obsolete at some point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You know, I've got no clients. I've done a yeah. great job. Everybody's done. <laughs> that's right. Well, yeah. there's always going to be somebody. That's the beauty of it, right? 12 billion people or whatever we have now on the planet. Yeah, <laughs> they all want love. But if they need to be new people so that you know yes. that the job you've done with the old people is... Yes, exactly. Yeah. Abraham Hicks says they joke about this. They say, you know, all the same faces. I wonder if we're, we're really reaching people here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You guys keep coming back. You know? <laughs> keep coming back. Yeah. But it's that reassurance that people need to. Sometimes you just need yeah. to keep hearing it. And I find often when I've been coaching people now, sometimes all they want to hear is just, they just want me to pep them up a little bit, right? They don't even have any questions necessarily. They just want to hear somebody say, you can do this. Yeah. It's going to be okay. You're doing great. You get a lot of that. It's uh, yeah. they just want and to pep just talk. reiterating the, you know, the good daily practice, you know, you're doing your affirmations, are you doing your meditation? Are you doing meditations in line with the desire that you have? Are you, you know, taking care of yourself is your self love and self care and self worth. Are you doing your exercise, drinking water, eating properly, all these things because yeah. you know, sleeping people, a lot of people are exhausted. Tarkan. Sure. A yes, they are. are exhausted and you can't manifest if you're exhausted because the vibe that goes out from you is limp. 
Yes, it's limp. I like that word. That's precisely what it is. It's ineffectual yeah. at that point. Yeah. You're not it's giving good, yourself the good, opportunity. It's good Dan Radio Style isn't here at that moment where I said that. Oh, is that right? He would have made, a, <laughs> would have made an inappropriate crack there, I think. Yeah, he, wouldn't, he would not have let that slide. <laughs> I just had a flash of him well, going. Well, we're just getting to know each other. So I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to be on my best behavior. But I think if we chat some more in the future, you'll definitely know. My, my, my inappropriate, my sailor will come out. Oh, that's all right. I think it's those little inappropriate moments that just, um, you know, capture people's quirkiness. I think it makes us accessible, right? Yeah. It makes you accessible, yeah. yeah. I noticed that you guys, too, when you dance chat, though, you're careful not to use the... The words, you know, on my videos, I let I let one slip out. I let, let an f bomb slip out sometimes. I think yeah. it's just, well, that's who I am. That's how yeah. I speak, though. Yeah. Sometimes for emphasis, you need it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. They've and people that. like it. I think people are okay with it. Yeah. 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 Well, there is a lot of um, just being human, isn't there? Just mm -hmm. when, and especially when you're getting really intense about something that does tend to pop out. Well, part of, you know, my thinking with even with the channel and what I really want to achieve with this personally is I want to make this stuff accessible to a yeah. broader audience. I think this more than just you can attract and, and create a relationship or get what you want. I think this is a recipe for how humanity can move into the future and deal with each other because we, we do seem to have a lot of hangups and problems on this planet right now. And I think yeah. there is a, this is a very um, good opportunity. It's a great opportunity right now with all the technology that we have, you know, think about Neville Goddard's time. What did he have? Books and lectures and, and records, right? And I think radio. he would record his yeah. radio, but really how broad can you imagine if he was alive now and using YouTube yeah. and all the things and all the tools that we have now, oh my goodness, we could reach a much broader audience. And I've got yeah. people from Japan and from India and from South America and, you know, Poland and wherever. Yeah. And you, I'm sure you do as well that are, yeah. that are listening and going, Hey, I want to, you know, um, and I think that's fascinating. It's amazing. So it I don't want to bring so much woo woo into it. And I don't want to bring so much of this stuff that makes people kind of roll their eyes. When yeah. Their law of attraction and manifest. Yeah. So it's like gravity. It's like anything that you use. That's just part of the way that the universe yeah. works. That's all it is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I remember when I was 17, my mum used to listen to Louise Hay. Oh. And, and the only people that listened to Louise Hay really in those days were the hippies that, you know, didn't have jobs and people that were just living in communes and people, you know, it was really that crew that was listening yeah. to that. And I oh. was like 17, thought I was, you know, that I knew everything and that, you know, and I'd roll my eyes and go, oh my God, what right. listening to yeah. And, you know, whereas now, like the whole industry is so much for conservative, alternative, you know, yes. and everybody in between. It's like yes. people listen to this across the board. So it's not just the alternative crew that used to listen to it. It's now, you know, the, the butter has been spread across the whole piece of toast. So it Absolutely. is very much you know, accessible to everybody. And, and I think that's what's great. And like you say, the medium of YouTube has really exposed it to anybody yes. in any part of the world that has a Wi-Fi connection and YouTube yeah. isn't banned in their country. Right. But you can have a look and, and learn. And I think that's what's so great is that we can look up very specific things, you know, and I know people do when they come up, come up and see our channels, they've searched for something specific. Yes. That's right. That's why we have our keywords that we always tap into. <laughs> yes. <laughs> X back specific person. I know I've searched that stuff. Plenty I've of searched times, that man. stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Also, I think it's, it's difficult to wherever you are in the world and whatever your family situation or your friendship situation, it's difficult to find people who are on the same page as you. Um, you know, you, you kind of discover this stuff and you look around and you realize nobody you, you know seems to understand what you're on about right yep. now, you know? Uh, and so it's, this is a good way to kind of find a tribe for yourself. You know, I yeah. think it's important to, to not try this journey on your own. Mm. Not, it can be very isolating sometimes for people. For sure. You yeah, know, sure. so they look for videos like ours. They want to be, mm. oh, there's others out there that feel like me. You know, I started this Facebook group because um, I wanted that to be kind of a place where people, I'm not so involved in it. I'm not so hands-on with it. Yep. Um, I moderate very lightly, but I let people just kind of, hey, talk to each other. You know, yeah. I want, that's what I want. You guys should be, you're on the same path here. You're yep. trying to do something similar. You yeah. should be supporting each other and speaking to each other and yeah, getting to know each sure. other. 
Yeah. Well, that's good, Taco. And we'll put the link to that Facebook group. Um, oh, perfect! Under yeah, the, the channel and and one of the viewers in my uh, on my channel started a Facebook group called Manifestors United too. I pop in Excellent. and out, but she's really the one that takes care of it. So perfect. If, like you say, then at least people know that they're gonna, you know, people can mention law of attraction, specific person manifesting, yes. Neville Goddard, and people in there will understand what they're talking about. Yes. Exactly. Can you hear me with the guy mowing the grass in the back? Yes. I'm not hearing the guy at all. <laughs> oh, I've good. People ripping up the street outside too. I don't know. I can't hear that. No, I can't hear uh, that. That's good. German construction crews. You know, they get very, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all. Uh, Are they wearing the outfit? No, they got all their shirts off now. I don't know. Oh, my mom's okay. been on the balcony downstairs. Uh, no. <laughs> Tarkom, what's, that, what's that little outfit called? That lovely little Austrian German. Oh, are we talking about Lederhosen? Yes. Yes. I couldn't well, think I, of the word. I'm from the north, so don't, we don't really do you that. You don't wear so that? Much. No, no, no. Oh, that's kind of, that's what the bumpkins. <laughs> and just wear it in the next YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I think my family would disown me if I did no. <laughs> See, now we're, we're, uh, we're also arch enemies of theirs with the football league. So, you know, Bayern is Bavaria. So what are you oh, wearing? Okay. <laughs> no, it's a joke, of course. Actually, uh, that's a very southern German thing. They, they take that. That's very, uh, there's a lot of pride around that. The top, yes. They call it, right? It's the, it's the sort of the lederhosen and the whole, the shirts and the whole thing. Yeah. I know. I was Those watching Those things are expensive. That. I was watching that um, <laughs> cooking show called Harry Biker's Bakerthon, and they wore one. Oh, they wore one. <laughs> I have not seen that. Check that out now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. It <laughs> is side splitting because they're both quite round because they're both overeaters. And uh -huh. they, they stretch themselves to fit into one of those things. And it oh, was, yes. Honestly, that alone is well worth a watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they are pretty hilarious. I know. I laugh about I can be careful. I had a woman comment me, I'm in Bavaria. You should come by sometime. And you know, we always kind of make fun of each other a little bit because their yeah. dialect is very different from our dialect. Yeah. Sometimes when they get really into it, we have trouble understanding them. We think, oh, yeah. are we in Germany right now? You know, it's kind of like, <laughs> but this is, I don't know what this place is, but yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Feather in the hat and the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I get I get that a lot. People say, "Bring me a pair of later hose," and I said, "You know, it's like asking a guy from New York to bring you a cowboy hat." I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, people keep asking me, you know, about the kangaroos and the killer spiders and the um, crocodiles in Australia, and it's the same. I mean, I'm in Sydney, so I don't. I'm not in the outback where they. You're are. in the city. <laughs> yes, right. What a, we don't have kangaroos over here, right? <laughs> No. Oh, just God. like Buffalo, don't go running down the street in in, uh, in LA or something. You know? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, can I ask you, what are you doing personally? Like, in terms of what are you reading? Are you still reading Neville, or who are you reading at the moment? I'm reading. You know, at the moment, I'm actually taking a break from reading at the moment because yeah. I'm I've been so involved in the channel and doing all this and even the coaching has been going so well that I don't I'm not finding a lot of time to read right now yeah but um I'll brush up on things sometimes I'll try to look up I have my kindle reader you know yeah and I love that thing because I can put all the books on there that I need and I can reference anytime I've gotten into Neville I've gotten into Abraham Hicks or people that write about Abraham Hicks I've yeah. gotten into uh uh What's uh, Veronica Isles? She's on your channel a lot of times yep. too. Yeah, and um, also this gentleman Ro uh, Richard Dots that I oh, speak I don't to know about. him. Yeah, and he's very. I don't think that's even his real name. I have a feeling he mentions that in his books. He's got quite a few, um, yes. and he's. I think it's a pen name or something like that too. He's not it's difficult to find on the internet. I think he's got another okay. life that he doesn't want people to really know what he's writing. <laughs> Law of attraction books, and he's into the weirdness, right? Yeah, it does <laughs> yeah, attract Richard a lot Thoughts. of weird people. That this subject, that's for sure. I'm very much uh, getting. I used to be. I talk about this too a lot in the videos. I don't. I don't like this whole take this step, three steps to do this, and five steps to do that because I've done that stuff and I've sort yeah. of gotten into those kinds of teachings. And I think it could work for some people that really like a lot of structure in their life. Um, but I'm much more, I'd like to just kind of speak more theoretically about things in that sense. You know what I mean? Just sort of more off the top of my head, you know, yeah. off the cuff a little bit. So Richard Dots is much more, much less of this, here's the process for this and here's what you do then. And um, He speaks much more about sort of the scale, 
the manifesting scale and how you kind of have to fit in the middle into the center of this between wanting and being okay with not having it, right? Oh, okay. So it's, it's a lot less sort of intellectual. It's a lot more esoteric, I would say. But I've Is enjoyed his YouTube? books really. No, he's not anywhere else on the internet. I've tried to find him. Yeah. And, you know, I really want to get the podcast part of my thing going. And I want to have it not just be me jabbering for uh, two, three hours. I want to get people interview them. And in fact, I'm going to invite you one of these days. Yeah, um, sure. I've looked for people like him. I've looked for him and he's very elusive. So I think that's not even his real name. He mentions that in a book. He says, I don't really want people in my life to know I'm doing this. So Yeah. Wow. Uh, there's, yeah. I wonder... Or if that's if there's even a person named Richard Dots, that's probably it's a mm. completely different name. But his books are all over Amazon, and I would recommend those. Okay. Yeah. Um, D O T T S. Uh, yes, D O T T S. D O W T S. I'll put yeah. a link down below as well, so yeah. people can follow the thread of the elusive. Absolutely. <laughs> there's not. See, he doesn't talk so much about relationships, but it's just manifesting in general. I think it's. Yep. You know, all this, people ask me, well, what if I want to manifest this? I don't want to manifest money. Will this work for relationships or whatever it is? It's, it's all the same thing. Yeah. It's the same process. It's just as simple as manifesting this or manifesting that, you know? Yeah. Um, it's, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's good. I'm, um, I'm reading um, a self-love workbook by Shiani Ali. So I, Ali. Yeah. And she's okay. someone I'd never heard of, but one of the viewers on my channel said she bought the workbook and she was working through it. So I've bought it cause I thought I want to work through it myself. So that way I can recommend it. So huh. it is good. It's good. It goes through exercises and it's just a lovely, good self love focusing on you, which is what we started this interview about is working sure. on yourself. So yeah. anything yeah. that can help you do that is, um, but it's, it's very much the turtle wins the race with this. Cause I'm not, I don't have a huge amount of time yeah. to read. <laughs> That's um, what happens. Yeah. I am I trying it. to go back to not just doing things with people, but doing those things for me and keeping my own journey yes. as well. So this next six months is that like, making sure I spend um, at least, you know, I think you can just read half an hour a day. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that you sit down and read a whole book, you know, so just. No, although I'll do that. I'll do that though. Cause I'll sit down once I get going, I can't stop. You don't want to stop. Good. I know. Yeah, I'm like, wait a minute. I'll, I'll take it over here now. I'll take it to the kitchen. Yeah. I'll take it to, you know. I like, know. Take it into the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Bathroom everywhere. <laughs> bathroom reading. Everywhere. Just don't drive with it in your face. Like, that's you know, that's <laughs> yes. the only thing. But I'll, but I'll try to read. I'd read at night now. I'll try to read, but then I just conk right out. So yeah. I just, my eyes start getting droopy. And, yeah. I know. <clears throat> yeah. 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 So, but you, but you mentioned something very interesting and there has to be time for ourselves too, right? Yeah. Because we are still manifesting. and We are still learning. Yeah. Yeah. There's a. <laughs> and making sure there's time. I mean, I try to meditate twice a day. Yeah. Not because I have to, because I actually enjoy I love yeah, I like laying it. in bed and not opening my eyes and I'll yes. put on like a whole Ho'oponopono meditation or I'll put on that Wayne Dyer I am that I am, which is just music. Oh yeah. I and love Wayne I'll, Dyer. Yeah. And then that, then I can do my own imaginal scenes or yeah. I can just repeat one affirmation, you know? So I start my morning, I lay in bed usually for about an hour before I get up. That's really nice. That's a nice thing to do. We, oh, we chatted before we uh, recorded, we chatted a bit about doing meditation videos. Yes. And you said some people don't like the music. And sometimes I like the videos that only have the music. Yes. Uh, and I'll put, yes. I'll put on my big headphones, you know, yep. in the morning. And it's surround and sound right in the oh, ear. My, right in my ear. And it's just water sounds and sort of rustling yep. and this kind of stuff. It's like I'm in, in some kind of forest or on the beach somewhere. I love that. It relaxes me right immediately from the, from the get go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll make my sure. breakfast that way. And everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Good daily routines of things that just, you know, pockets of joy, things that make you feel good. And yeah. you know, the more you do this work, the more you eliminate the things you don't like, the more you introduce things you do like, and then your whole life every day is good because you're not doing anything you don't like to do. It's so wonderful. Well, it's about how you react to people say, how do I get rid of resistance? And don't try to get rid of resistance, but you're going to change how you react to the challenges in your life. You're going to yeah. change, you know, because if, if one little thing throws you off kilter for the whole day, mm. then you probably have a lot of work to do in, in the area of just calming, like you said, calming yourself down, doing the meditations, yeah. doing, doing the, you know, the 
what you do, the audio and the videos with the, with the sounds and the binaural beats, whatever it is, right? The calming, yeah. soothing music. Before you try to focus, don't come at your visualizations and all that from this place of being so, mm. so verklempt, right? So, uh, yeah. so sort of bottled up about everything. Yeah. Um, calm down first. Leave that stuff for now. Yeah. Stop thinking about them for now. Yes. And focus it back on yourself and just calm down. And then, yeah. then you, can, you can concentrate better and you can focus better when you're just coming from a place of, oh, okay, now I'm just yeah. going to ease into this now, right? Yeah. yeah. A soft, open hand. A soft, open hand. That's Rather than this. Ah. Yeah, and that's what we do. <laughs> no! <laughs> Call back! Call me now. I can't be happy. Yeah. <laughs> or I will, I will skin you if you don't call me. <laughs> well, I, you know what? My, my biggest challenge is still, is I'm, I'm a complete control freak when it comes to things in my life. You know, yeah. and that's, that's down to the, ask my friends and family too. It's the, nope, that has to be that way over there. That's, that's bothering me because it's, it's off a little bit, you know, and I got to adjust that on my desk or whatever it is, right? I need to be able to see 10 steps ahead so I know what I'm anticipating, what to anticipate. I like predictability. And I think that's what so many people, this thing for them is about is predictability. They always come and ask the question of, tell me if this is going to be okay. Can I still manifest them? Is yeah. this still, is this going to happen? Because they yeah. want to know, you know, it makes us uneasy not to be able to know what's around the corner. Yes. Right. But you have to become comfortable with that. Yeah. It's a, it's a challenge for me too. Yeah. It's been a challenge. I'm yeah. just letting go. That's I true. think the calming of the meditation helps with that because you yeah. go, you know, F it. I'm just going to go and see what happens. Mm. You know, I'm just going to wake up tomorrow and do what I need to do and then yeah. go off and just, yeah. I'm was open that, to whatever. Is that the teeth? Brushing my teeth and, <laughs> you know, drinking the coffee and put on my whatever and go to work yeah. and whatever I'm doing, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Brushing yeah. teeth and a coffee. That's a good one. Good start to the day. <laughs> yeah. Be open to all kinds of possibilities. So many times you don't even know there's stuff out there that you didn't even know you wanted that, that the, your inner being understands it, is you, that you want, right? Yeah. People, somebody, a woman wrote me, I did a success story because she said, oh, I manifested back my ex. And then this whole other guy came in that I knew seven years ago. I had such a crush on him and I, I thought, I'm so out of, he's so out of my league. And right as I'm manifesting back my, person he starts showing up and I thought oh well I kind of like him actually you know and, and I thought well that's perfect look at that because what Fantastic. happens is not only will your specific person come back but so many others and you'll have options yes that's what you want in life you want options that's you don't want to just think there's this is the only person this is the only one out mm. there because if you're coming from that you're not quite ready yet to even have them I don't think I don't think you're you're going to manifest them that easily from that yeah mindset Right. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. when you're more, um, you know, I'd really like that person, but okay. If, you know, the, if I'm relaxed, if they come, if you get to the point where you can say, you know what, I'll be okay whether they come or not. That's usually when they come. Yeah. It's usually when they come <laughs> and then somebody else too. I mean, this happened and to somebody me else too. Yeah. Four or five years ago, I was in this boat. I, there was a, a, a young lady I was very obsessed about. And, um, you know, I, this kind of when I started discovering this for myself a little bit, oh, I can manifest people and relationships. This is fascinating. And that's what started me on that journey for myself. And um, there came a point when I was so full of, I was so drained and exhausted from all the resistance and all the energy I was putting into it. But one day I said, you know what, to hell with this. I'm just not going to do this anymore. Yeah. And I deserve better. I deserve better than to be treated this way or to treat myself this way. Yep. And I'm open to whatever comes along now. And I know it's going to be okay. I know I'm going to meet somebody fantastic, even if it's not her. Yeah. And, you know, two days later, I fall into this relationship with this person, uh, this girl. And we dated for several months. And in the middle of dating her, I found an old journal entry that I had. I was cleaning up around my office area. <laughs> and I found an old journal entry where I had made a list of my perfect girlfriend. I'd read it in a book. I'm like, oh, I'm going to sit down and do this. Yeah. She has brown hair and she has this kind of smile and she's into these things. And I swear to you, you know, I was laughing about it. I remember when I wrote this and it was kept, I started getting goosebumps because I realized that I was dating that, that very person. Wow. Almost nice. to a T. And I thought, wow, this was not <laughs> the person I originally had in mind. I didn't even know she and I were a possibility, but here I was and I'm reading this list that I made where wow. I was describing this person almost to a T. 
So that's when I first realized there's something here, right? Yeah. This is uh, there's more to this than meets the eye. Yeah, For sure. Fascinating For sure. stuff. Yeah, that is. But you awesome. you manifested your person back. Yeah, I did, yeah. and and I had a very specific type, and I had a very specific, um, you know, and and I remember thinking because we were friends for a while mm. uh, for quite a long while, obviously, cause we were living in different countries. So, you know, it was, we were friends for quite a long time before we connected um, as, as partners because of the distance and because I had a job then and I couldn't leave for more than one month a year. I mean, that was the reality. And I remember thinking, mm. okay, if this is ever going to work, I have to break free of a job and I have to break free of that. I can't leave the country whenever I want. Right. I right. need to be able to move around. And um, that's when the whole desire to have my own business and the whole desire to break free of being an employee and break yes. free of, I have to work. And I remember thinking, cause I was driving all over Sydney and, you know, working in all these different shopping centers. And sometimes it would take me an hour and 15 minutes or depending on the traffic to get to work. And I remember thinking, Oh my God, I so want to eliminate this from my life. <laughs> yeah. And I want to lay in bed and I want to work from home and I want to control the environment because I'm a bit of a control freak too when it comes yeah. to how warm I am and, yes, how, and the noise and the heating. Those are two things I like. <laughs> Quiet and I like to be <laughs> you, know, you want to be cocooned, <laughs> right? You want to be, uh, yeah. I've watched some of your videos in the past and you'll be in bed. You're just kind of, that, that looks like a good job. I think yeah. I'm going to try that too. <laughs> exactly. And I remember thinking, I don't want to hear anyone's voice before 10 a.m. No yes. one. Don't talk talk to me. I don't want to hear you. Oh like, gosh. I'm really a slow waker upper. Yeah. And I, I feel assaulted by hearing people's voices before 10. So it was like, thank you. I need I'm to not work. the only one. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> I thought, you know, I'm, like, I'm such a meanie in the mornings. I'm always, I, I hate it, but you know what? It's, that's just how I am. I need yeah. that time for Are myself. Are you a night owl? I'm a night owl. Yeah, yes. Although I will go to bed early. You know, I try to thing now especially when i travel it's the melatonin i take it so that it regulates my the time difference a little bit faster but then i it makes yeah. me want to go to bed sooner too and then i'll yeah. wake up at five in the morning suddenly but i'm not really i'm not active at five in the morning by any means i mean the most i'm doing is i'm going to the bathroom then going back to bed <laughs> going back and to then bed. check my phone okay is there anybody okay what do they want yeah exactly. <laughs> you know, close my eyes but i'm not a boy yeah no. yeah till i've had you know breakfast and a cup of tea and then and then I'll ease into the day. Well, let's, now you can speak to me. Yeah. <laughs> and, and hence why we did this interview at 10 a.m. my time and 11 a.m. your time. <laughs> Perfect. I kept thinking, hmm, let's see. oh, she's in London. That's good. I don't have to be 10 a.m. No, yeah. I wake up at 9. I'm getting breakfast. And I'm I staying know. with my mother right now. And yeah. God bless her. She's a, she's a very talkative person. In the Is she a morning person? <laughs> yeah. a, she, I said, you you've just been sleeping for eight hours. How can you have so much? What happened in that time? You know, just the, my you're... mom's a morning person too. I got to hear you. Uh, <laughs> mom, I just go mom, mom. Yeah, no, she already knows my can face. You yes. just, <laughs> even about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, I'll just answer give every me a moment, question. please. <laughs> mom, mom, just you're like, freaking me like out. Father. You're freaking just me like out. Just like your father. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're just like your father. Your dad used to sit like that too, and he never spoke to me in the mornings. <laughs> <laughs> just like your father. Just like your father. Yeah. My mom said to me recently. She said, "You're getting worse." I go, "I know." <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. You get, get older. Worse. Yeah, we get older. <laughs> that's pay attention, folks. Too. That's you know get. It. You ask about time. Getting older can help yeah, too because you put yeah. up you put up with a lot less BS yeah. in life. But can for, I as you get ask older. how old you are? Is that a bad question? No, it's a great question. Actually, I'm going to turn 44 on ah, Sunday. Oh, yeah. on Sunday! It's Sunday. That's cool. Right. 44. It's sneaking up on me. I keep forgetting. I've been traveling. Yeah. We're going to be driving. We're going to be on the road then too. Nice. So I'm going to be driving to Turkey through. Probably I'll be in Serbia somewhere just to wow. try to avoid yeah. a speeding ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm older than you. I'm 52. No way. Oh, well, you don't look it. Look, I'm feeling gray already. And I got everything going. Yeah. <laughs> I know. The gray, the gray kicks in at about your age. <laughs> yeah. No, in. that's about what happens now. <laughs> well, both my mom and dad got went gray early, too. That's it. And my yeah. father, I guess, on the Turkish side, that's a thing. So they could go gray very early. Yeah. 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 But, you know, I don't really care. No. Sometimes I'll splash something in there, you know. <laughs> purple or something i have a friend who's gonna 
a friend who's got a uh, you know very white. He's a, he's in his sixties, and he uh, he he'll go on these festivals like Burning Man stuff. And he'll, yeah, he'll put purple eye ah, dyed it blue today, you know, or something. Oh, that cute. Sounds good. Cute. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tarkon, you have to watch the Harry Bikers Bakathon. I know you will. Actually, I'm going to. Talking you, to you today, honestly. Harry Bikers Bakathon, I'm going to actually yeah. open up a page for that right now. Yeah, Harry yeah. Bikers Bakathon. Because uh, you told me about it, now I'm going to have yeah. to watch it. There's yeah. one episode where they bought some at some weird market, farmer's market, that one lady crocheted some underpants with appendages and they put eyes and beards on the appendages. <sighs> So of course, uh, you guys had to buy them and wear them for the show. So yes, of course. No, well, now I want to stay on YouTube, so <laughs> I want to. I don't want to get you know. They're gonna go. They just they just took a look at my channel, like oh, thousand followers. Let's see what he's about. And I'm gonna wear the weird crocheted appendages underwear from. Yeah, uh, there you go. <laughs> I can hear Dan already on that one as well. <laughs> Is this, are we, are we capable of doing a three-way thing on this, on this app too? We can. That'd be fun someday you to have just a whole. That? Okay. Yeah. We will organize a Let's do three-way that. with Dan Radio. Station. I think that would be a blast. Would I love you? Dan as well. I think, I, you know, I laugh at him. When you guys chat, you guys have such a great rapport going on. Yeah. And he reminds me, he reminds me of a friend of mine, actually, like a longtime friend. Just his sense of humor and his way of speaking. It's just like him. Yeah. He's an absolute certified organic nut. <laughs> <laughs> that he is. Well, aren't we all a little bit? Look what we're doing here. I know. Look what we're doing. Zach. I couldn't possibly have a normal life. That's not, no. No, it's not in the cards. Never Some was. Of us do not beat to the normal drum. That's for no, sure. No, we do not. No. <laughs> I have way too many unanswered questions in my head that yeah. normal life cannot answer for me. That normal you know? life cannot answer. <laughs> So, yeah. Institutions can't answer that for me. I have exactly. to search for those. Yeah, fascinating stuff. I mean, I don't know. How did you get on this? You know, I was thinking about this too because I figured she's probably going to ask me about how did I get into law of attraction. I, you know, I've been into UFOs. I've been into yep. all this stuff. I still am. I find yep. it fascinating. Yeah. You know, I used to listen to Art Bell back in the day. I don't know if you're familiar. He was an old, in the middle of the night, AM radio guy. He used to talk about all the paranormal stuff and the UFOs. And yeah. You know, that always inspired me to want to do a podcast or do something radio yeah. as well. Yeah. But just the oh. curiosity, I have such a natural curiosity about this stuff. I don't ever want to stop learning. Yeah. Right? Exactly. I don't ever want to feel like I know everything now. That's no. it. It's over. Yeah. Eternal students. Eternal students. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, we will do another one to be continued. Absolutely. Yes. And I will put down below all the links from what Tarkon and I talked about today. So you can go Perfect. and find him and we will see you. We will invite our other organic nut, Dan Radio, to join us yes. for the next session. I think that would be wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for having me on. And yes, it's been Good. exciting. Say, say goodbye in German. Auf Wiedersehen. Yes. sagen auf Deutsch. Tschüss. Beautiful. That's another, it, that's another way to say goodbye. Tschüss. 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 Yeah, it's very, it's more informal. It's uh, like T-S-C-H-U-S-S. So that's, that's going to be rough for some people. Nice. Yeah. But you know what? There's a lot of Germans that watch the channel. They're going to love it. Oh, yeah. I have some. Yep. I have a coaching yeah. client. She's from Germany, actually. Yeah. 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 Hello. Hello. How are you? Beautiful. Love it. Wow. Love, love the international part of what we do. It's brilliant. Oh, it is. It's fascinating. Everybody's on, everybody out there wants the same things. No yep. matter where no you're matter from. No matter where you are in the world. Your culture, your ethnic background. You know, we really yeah. are after the same things in life. Yeah. True. It's fascinating. Well, everybody, you know where we'll be in the usual place on YouTube for the next one. We'll see you then. That's right. Back on, stay on, and we'll say goodbye in private. Okay, sounds good. Bye, Thank everybody. Thank you, guys. Take care.